even more news that we didn't get a chance to get to on Orbit 10, not 37, and I'm not saying it's aliens, but Jared? It's not aliens. Oh, okay, so, shucking. yeah, really sorry, uh, everybody. But, of course, uh, what the flux? What uh, the flux? I guess is how this has been going. Uh, the most mysterious star in the galaxy that many a Redditor have, has insisted uh, that is being controlled by aliens uh, turns out actually isn't. Um, and yes, this is the proverbial cut on the face of aliens causing the dim of Tabby Star, freshly delivered uh, by Occam's Razor, of course. Uh, this, we're actually seeing a scientist narrowing in on what's causing the dimming around Tabby Star. Now, data from the Kepler Space Telescope showed that this star was dimming sometimes up to 22% of its nominal light output in very rapid amounts of time. This is particularly unusual. I actually made a space pod back in 2015 in which several comments soundly and thoroughly criticized me for not admitting that it was aliens. Well, <laughs> us pesky scientists have done what we tend to typically do, which is uh, go get some more data and look at it. Now, specifically, we looked at data from previous observations where Tabby Star was within a steady's field of view. And the earliest data that we actually have on Tabby Star goes all the way back to 1890. So we have over a century's worth of data. And then that data goes all the way to 1989. And during that time period, from, 19, from 1890 to 1989, Tabby Star dimmed a whopping 20%. Uh, but it was not as pronounced like the recent dimmings. It was quite linear, basically. It followed a nice steady slope. Now, this actually isn't as unexpected or a mysterious occurrence. Changes in a star's magnetic field can actually cause these kinds of dramatic dips in the star's light output. But the real nail in the coffin for the hypothesis of Tabby star dimming due to an alien megastructure is the overall <laughs> output of light across all wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, not just invisible light, the light that your and I eyes can see. Tabby's team looked at Tabby Star in infrared and ultraviolet light using NASA's Spitzer and Swift Space Telescopes, respectively. There was no dimming overall in infrared, but in ultraviolet, there was quite a reduction in the overall output or reception of ultraviolet light. Now, this tells us that whatever is blocking the light from Tabby Star is uniform in size enough so that it will allow infrared light through, but it will prevent ultraviolet light from getting through easily and we know of only one thing that can do that that is found quite a lot out in space dust yes if it were an alien megastructure uh, we would actually expect to see uniform dimming in all wavelengths of light but because the dimming is coming mostly from ultraviolet and that light from the infrared wavelengths is getting through whatever is causing the dimming we're pretty confident that it's actually dust it's not aliens so the same stuff that you should be cleaning up around your house Yes, it is preventing the light from Tabby Star actually reaching us. So I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm not saying it was aliens because it wasn't aliens. So. All right. Well, thank you, Jared. <laughs> if you're interested in this and other spacey things, actually, uh, our main topic on Orbit 10.37 was the newly reformed National Space Council. You can always join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.